every day hustle like we. Yeah. Every day hustle like William, I'm charging the chicken just for the best. Yeah. I get in that kitchen, I could go to work, I go berserk. Yeah. Go out and get it, secure the city, can't seem like the time tent. I like how this is like a free bed, bed. I mean, breakfast on me. This paper coming to me 24 Two eggs, I can't go no like chili sauce and all the really good. Oh my god, Anthony Bourdain. Damn, they expanded. I fucking love this guy. <laughs> Obama combo. Oh my god, it looks so good. You're gonna know that she, I already went through that. Mm. Oh, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We've had so many good discussions, like just since we've been here, about business, about strategy, about macroeconomic factors, about social factors, and about so much different stuff. It's, it's really cool to see and to be able to just talk with someone at such a high frequency about really cool things. And even the other expats here I've met have also been on that level and thinking the same thing. And it's really cool to be around these people and to be able to talk about the history of a country and how that affects the business sphere and their current economy so really interesting things learning a lot since i've been here i can't believe it's only been five days i felt like it's been longer just from the quality and the density of things going on right now so more to come very cool to see right now i'm reading the book the prosperity paradox which will help me in my work to understand developing economies even further join a nice coconut uh, Vietnamese coffee and you know just enjoying the view beautiful weather outside it is let's see it's 78 degrees Fahrenheit it's been such a journey so far and we're only getting started after Vietnam I'm currently applying for my Ghanaian my Ghana visa to go to Africa so that's gonna take a little bit of time uh, maybe like a couple weeks or so but during that time we're going to continue working hard here in Vietnam, maybe travel and explore a different couple cities here, but it'll be good. It'll be fun to see.
easy work. In the morning, I do some deep work, you know, more challenging things that you actually need to focus really hard on. Coffee is delicious, it's strong. It's like 40 Vietnamese baht to buy coffee. So that's like $1.60 US. Super cheap and really good and strong coffee, man. Can't go wrong with this place. Absolutely love it. Slurp <laughs> noodle review. Red crab noodle. This is what we call dedication to the craft. Hung over right now. Kind of weird to do this, but we're dedicated to the one slurp noodle review. Right here we got crab red noodle dish. I believe it's called swa. Well, that one right there. And yeah, one slurp. Everyone knows the rules. Setting up the camera. One slurp. Everyone knows the rules. Don't want to burn my face off. Mm. You know, it's much more chewy. That meat, very flavorful. It resembles much more like pastrami. Got some meatballs here. Got shrimp. Along with stallions. Very good dish. I'm gonna try another soup. Overall, I give this by itself, no extra additions, solid 8.1 at a time. Worth traveling to come get this dish. It's very good. We live it there. All right, I'd like to refrain from doing rescores, but it's also very typical for Viet Cuisine to add in chili, add in the citrus, add in garlic, vinegar. So after adding these, the complex, complexity of the flavor increased a lot. So re this to an 8-4. It's kind of in its nature for Viet food to add in. For other cuisines, that doesn't necessarily ring true, so that's why the rescore will be allowed. But yeah, 8 four. Kept the shirt clean, but got trips on the pants. Rookie mistake. It's on the second review, so we'll allow it, but boo. Damn. Day after drinking, kind of like hungover and disoriented. Very gloomy outside, too, but nothing fixes a gloomy day. Like a $1 bond me. You know what I'm saying? 30 baht, like a dollar and like two cents. Great snack. About to get a coffee too. Meh. Nothing up brightens your day like a 3 p.m. bun, you know? Me and my dog chilling. <laughs> Thing about saying that you're from Boston or you're from America in general is that they don't view people don't really like Americans in general because of the war and stuff. She asked me where I'm from, and I was like, Oh, I'm from Boston, I'm from America, very chipper. And then she kind of just looked away and gave me this side eye. I'm like, Fuck, I'm just gonna say I'm Canadian from that one. See that I say I'm uh, Canadian, which is okay. But people love it when they think that you're Korean, so I might lean into the Korean card and uh, tell people I'm Korean from now on. <laughs> and that's when I've gotten the warmest reception. Literally like 10 people, anyone I meet, they're like, oh, you're Korean, aren't you? Nope. But gonna lean into it, eh? Anyways, at this coffee shop, draining this coffee right now. Just felt finished my bun me. The thing about being here in Vietnam is that uh, I've definitely been losing weight and leaning out, which is actually kind of nice. 
which is actually kind of nice because it's a fat bastard before. Or it was a little bit chubby, whatever, but still kind of chubby, still losing weight a little bit. The thing about eating here is I never eat until I'm, I'm like full, full, you know, which is kind of good. It says over overeating before, but now it's just eating until like you're satisfied and the food's so much lighter. Like I just finished that bond meat, but the bread is so airy and light. It wasn't like a thick loaf of bread. Like it, if I were to eat like a dinner roll at a steakhouse, like eating one of those things, you feel it. But this bread is super light and airy, so it's like a nice snack. And then just always just never being full, but being like, you know, a little bit hungry. It's always good. At the ATM, just went through some money. The thing about the money here is that it literally smells like fucking Yu-Gi-Oh cards from back in the day. This is dangerous, bro, because it feels like Monopoly money. It's just not even real. Just finished up a workout. Officially eight days, a little bit more than a week since I've been here. And I felt like so much has happened during that time. Ups and downs. Highs and lows, lots of work, and today was one of the tough days, honestly. Yesterday was a great day, got a lot done. Got a really cool experience of having barbecue with local people and drinking with them and, you know, getting roasted by them, which is always part of the experience. But went out last night, had a little bit too much fun, and woke up today not there. Hopped on my phone first thing in the morning, Started scrolling, just messed up my dopamine for the rest of the day. I got a little bit done to try to get the ball rolling, sent out some emails. Hoping that if I were to get one thing done, it kind of build up momentum so I could get more. I have some things I still want to do. I need to book my next Airbnb, I need to finish up my Ghanaian visa application. Gotta put this video out, gotta build up the business more, there's always more to do. But tomorrow, I'm gonna get right back to it in an even better way and make sure that everything is on point. Yeah, this journey has been wild. Like, I'm alive and exhausted at the same time. Alive in a way that I'm doing what I want to do and it's a great thing. But also exhausted from, you know, travel. Yeah. Come on. Fuck yeah, this is beautiful. Fried fish cake, sausage, meat, vermicelli, fermented shrimp paste. Let's go. Wow, this is really nice. Sausage, it's a bit of the shrimp paste. Mmm. These fish cakes are perfectly fried. Fresh out of the fryer. I'm just on some slime shit, I'm back on that slime stuff, you know what I'm saying? I'm the LLB yeah. tour, about to yeah. get some thin ski with the yeah. girl ski and yeah. the thin ski. I'm Friday, fucking night, and feeling normal. This kitty is going to be quite sad. Kick my hoe up in a wide body, eat it right up and don't cry about it. All my hoes get time out, all your hoes get slimed out. The AP store, we buy them out. Money on money, go head first. All my hoes wear Chanel sandals. Why on your toe, that's good manners. Sinead and they black going bad down. All my hoes take the whole thing. High top made back cocaine. 2025 on the lead trip. Scorch at five, no pirate. Hit me on WhatsApp, direct. Kit Kat pack went chocolate. That bag, I train her. Cuban list link, I train her. She throwing on rackies, I train her. All my hoes, they. Alright, told y'all I was gonna be consistent. Here with another one bite, and over here. One swipe, everyone knows the rules. Frankly, I have no idea what this is called. 
Much more tomato y base. I'll get a picture of the fun. Really nice tomato y. You can sell like a chicken broth or some sort. Get a picture of the dog. I quite like the tomato in this. We'll give this, compared to normal foot, a 7 <laughs> That's it. Yourself. I'm too smart for these games. She's lucky. up another one slurp little review today's review is a little bit different so this it's called bunka I had the I had a version when the same place that Obama went to but that one is like a pork bunka this one is different it's fish so you get fried pieces of fish on the side it comes in a bowl like this with noodles and then the noodles themselves on the side, like here. So you take the noodle and you dip it into the soup and then you eat it like that. So one slurp, everyone knows the rules. Here we go. Mm. Very, very popular. I had the pork one previously. This is the fish version. This is underrated. All the websites say that the pork ones they go to, but when you're making a fish noodle, especially a soupy one like this, they're rarely like this good and rich in umami flavor. Crispy fish, let's try this. Dip it really quick. Wow. 
fresh. The fry on the fish is so deep. And like rarely do I you get like good fish like noodle soup like this. It's wild. So underrated uh, fish based wong ka with the noodle to put it in. I'd say it's at eight, eight six. Here we go. On oh, dude. Plus some noodles, I'm watching my figure. No shirt splashes.